Hello, Menno from iAquare here again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the Mix Monolith to hit your virtual tape machines right at their sweet spot. Uh, in today's digital world, a lot of users are used to normalizing their signals. Now they do this in order to have the most digital information present in their waveform. Okay, nothing wrong with that, but if you hit a virtual tape machine with that kind of level, you're going to be overloading it, and you're not going to get the, the results or the sound that you're looking for. So uh, anybody that uses still uses 2-inch tape today or remembers using 2-inch uh, tape in the past, you would calibrate your, your input, your tape machines, by sending a 1 kilohertz signal, which I'll do right now, uh, and we'll set it at minus 9. And you would want it to hit your tape at minus 18 dBFS. On the VU meter, that's what you'd want to see. Well, even at minus 9, here's our signal. You can see on the tape, we are slamming the meter. It's way past. Okay, so the monolith was actually, in its default state, was designed to be the perfect gain staging for you. So at minus 30 luffs, that means the default setting. You can even turn off the duck if you want. And if you want, you can just... You save a, a preset like this and call it a, let me see, hit, hit and tape, hit the tape. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so that way it's, it's really quick to bring up later. Okay, hit the tape. Learn, mix, boom, minus 18 dBFS. So that is what the mix monolith in its default state was designed to do. So you can see here that I have a monolith in the beginning. And I have a monolith, of course, at the end for to do the level mixing. Well, this very first one, you notice you can have it first in the chain like I have it here. The monolith is the first one. And a lot of these you'll see that I have uh, ceilings of sound pro up first. Because in a real world, an, an engineer is going to EQ, use a mixing board, outboard gear, whatever. He's going to EQ the signal to have a, a good signal, a good sounding signal hit the tape. Uh, that way, any harmonics that the analog tape imparts is going to add harmonics to the information that he wants, not inf uh, harmonics to a bunch of garbage. So you can, um, if you have a good sounding signal to start with, just go ahead and use the monolith first. If not, use COS Pro and EQ it, have it sounding great, then use this first monolith to gain stage and hit your tape perfectly. Uh, and how you do that again? Yeah, everything, just across everybody, hit learn all channels, play your song, hit mix all channels, and then what you want to do on this first model with the gain staging one is you want to lock it. See this little lock right here? Boop. Okay, lock it, and then you can just put it away. And you do that so that later when you're doing your level mixing with your monoliths, um, when you hit learn all channels, it's not going to change or alter your gain staging that you 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 set up, okay? Uh, and it works wonderful. Like here, let me um, solo the vocal. I'll bring up um, his tape. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I now you can see that we had the, uh, the monolith Christmas. calibrated. It minus 955, so it was a minus 30 Christmas luffs. It's Christmas in June. Merry Christmas. See, and there you go. You so it's going to be hitting, you know, on his, on his loudest pa parts of the passage, it's going to be hitting minus one on this. Now, on like a bass and some other ones, you might see that in kick, it'll be down low. But, you know, that's natural and normal in the real world, in the real analog world and two inch tape. OK, so don't be thrown by by if you see a low signal, that's exactly where it's at. And all of these presets that are that have been set up, like the saturated, you'll notice that, you know, they'll turn up the uh, they'll change things here and, and turn up the, um, the the input. So you don't want to change the signal feeding your tape, but to hit the tape harder, you would then mess with your input here. OK, but you're still feeding it the type of signal it's it's calibrated and designed to receive. All right, so let's go back here to reggae. That's where we were. Boop. All right, and um, that's how you use Mix Monolith for gain staging to hit your virtual tape machines right at their sweet spot. So um, happy mixing. Until next time.